up, y'all? It's me, Tasha C. And this particular video, y'all. <coughs> Sorry, my bad, y'all. Had to use my hell just a second ago. But I want to talk again about love and hip hop New Yorker, real quicky, real quick. I may do a combine or do two separate ones. Um, I want to talk about Cat Stacks versus Love and Hip Hop New York, particularly Carly Bleed, right? Um, if y'all remember Cat Stacks, and shout out to my YouTube fam, and you're not part of my YouTube fam, don't forget to subscribe to being like, like, like this video, y'all. I don't know how eventually my hard head ass gotta keep up the comments. I'm terrible with that. <laughs> but anyways, I recently seen a couple days ago, Cat Stack is basically trying to say Carly B is trying to be like her, whatever, right? I haven't seen the interview on Power 97. I, I'm not saying that correctly, Hot 97, whatever. And Cat Stack already, you know, she went from having Easter to now she got tattoos here, tattoos there. I was positive in Blur 8, or, you know, kind of dress was kind of too little revealing, whatever. So I wouldn't listen to what she had to say. I even also checked out the interview with Carly B and DJ Self. Because if y'all seen the episode already or know, this is like a love triangle, supposedly, or square. Because Carly B got a man in, in, uh, incarcerated uh, for two years. I don't know, you know, if it's like two years already, or that's the bid, or she next year, whatever. And so he, DJ, so he got, I guess, a girl he'd been with for a minute. But they have like this, like I said, this love square because they both got somebody else supposedly, but you know, whatever. But they with each other, right? That storyline. Now, Cat Stacks, we, um, that was what y'all remember, like, when was Cat Stack popular, like in 09 or whatever? And old 10, she was making these videos and she was like, Yeah, it's Cat Stacks. And you know, she would tell all these stories, all these rappers that she fucked and have these scenarios. She went from Little Twist, Little Bread, Little Pillsbury, whatever else, whatever, right? Now she's claiming ever since then, remember, she, because I think something with a green card, someone immigration, something like that, and because of the prostitution, it was like promoting prostitution, we find out this is why I think she was in jail for almost what three years. And then she was eventually let go up, but I, the guy who's over at World Star, who also used to be a former boyfriend, whatever, had to testify as if they were all fake. Now, no short, short. I could recall that also Bow Wow, what the fuck, he always in love with hip hop some type of way. Shit, he might as well get damn, a uh, damn <laughs> part of the show. Shit, he in, intertwined somehow. She, I even remember that she was saying Bow Wow was like, she give him head, something like that, and he liked it, the egg, uh, um, vibrate up, was behind, stuff like that. And if y'all follow Cat Stack back in the day, around this time, some dude went, I don't know, Bible's paper, or felt offended, to smack her. And nobody did nothing but except filmed it. Okay, but that wasn't real. Then some dude that she was with that unfortunately got, I don't know, obviously he was a rapper, star with an M, got shot in his head, y'all. Like, I don't know, years or something later after, after this occurred. Sometime right now. I'm like, what the hell? But he, before a year or years prior before this happened, after um, Cat Stacks got smacked, it's saying, you know, Bow Wow's, you know, a uh, uh, you know, uh, goon, whatever, Bob goon, whatever. Talking about it was, she was disrespectful, blah, blah, woo, woo. Next day, it was like she had this dude that started Miles. I forgot what the dude name was. He kicked in the headlight of the car. And then, you know, basically, then kicked hard of the dude's car and then he just drove off then it seemed like months ago later on then he had a problem with her with yelling at her was mad at her they had a tape then these two broad big broad bitches come out of nowhere you know talking about some uh uh you telling lies whatever one holding about here and then offering her right it was a bunch of crazy ass shit that did with her but it was all publicity right just like she had the famous beating with soldier boy see how loving hip-hop just don't get can't stop it was the same thing where she said she had coke and she had, you know, shown like you could tell like he was in the shower. Not showing nudity, but you could tell it was him in the background. And she was in a hotel room or kind of something and had lines, blurred lines, all everywhere. But she said blurred stuff. Then the dude that used to be in Puff Daddy's group, Young City, I forgot what his name is. Couldn't say Choppa or Choppa City or something. But he was a part of the, the band group. And he was a rapper with the Chopper City suits and shit on. And, uh, <laughs> one time. And he said he slept with her. Soldier Boy admitted, like, yeah, that was his baby. But he was just, like, denying the rumors of the ledge. You know, Coke, you know, Coke. You know, they were both in love with the Coke or whatever. She said he was. 
And but she was saying this stuff allegedly happened was all publicity, and most of the people knew about it. And you know, dudes were you know to help their careers. And I knew that was bullshit because when she listened down to Lil Twist, Lil Twist didn't get popular because of that shit. I mean, he got popular crashing cars and shit more so. And though he got a gun, I mean, ain't he? I'm just saying, they got nothing to do with Cat Stack. Why he is known now? You know what I mean? Like that is not the reason why our boy is in there getting publicity because of your ass. So and then she talked about then Lil Twist. I, I'm the reason why I'm listening to all this stuff is because she's trying to say it's publicity, but some of these do. You know, she had got in trouble for that. Real talk. But she was getting paid, whatever. And then she was trying to say, like, Carly B, you know, is trying to be like her with the wigs, the crazy ass boy. Carly B do have a crazy ass boy to stick with her, whatever, right? And she was trying to say that Carly B is not a hoe because she does not have a pimp. Um, that means she's just a sub, whatever. And certain stuff to qualify, you know, you don't have prostitute charge, you know, you know, you ain't got these whole charges and blah, 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 this and that. So she feels kind of offended by that. And it's like, sweet, you don't want to actually claim that. And shout out to my uh, YouTube cousin, also Miss Neek, also known the Ghetto View with an A, not an E. Um, go check her channel out. She was talking about it last night too. Um, that's not something you want to brag about. Or if she's trying to have a book to motivate, talking about her life, whatever. But it's like, why are you getting offended because she wants to claim that title? And you know, it's that cast that supposedly was talking about. She was offered a role to play. Um, on I think Love Hip Hop ATL, she declined. She would have to move to ATL. She would have to do this, ex, you know, go to X and whatever and all this other stuff, woo, 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 whatever. And she feel like Carly B was placed because Cat Stacks would not was not on there. Okay, but and she said she was gonna get paid no money, just with a lot of publicity and promoting her brand, whatever. And she said something about she can't because of Q and her are debating back for him now to court. He ain't trying to have her sell the book, whatever, or trying to stop her from selling the book. Her book, so she trying to go. She has to sell through PayPal, and that's how I guess she makes money that way. And then I heard Carly B and DJ self, you know, interview as well. Carly B is just on a nut, and she goes from saying, "Yeah, I got my my mom boobs done, the ass shots, every damn thing else, blah, blah blah." It's you know, you know, and just just kept it. And now she's trying to get off the pole too and stuff, whatever, and go become a rapper. Artist. She stopped her, but I'm just saying this is that. Um, honestly, I'm kind of like, would she bring up Carly Bre B if she wasn't popular? You know what I mean? Or is this one of them damn steps where it's like, here, like, I'm only bring, you know, you chose not to be on the show is one thing. So, unless, is Carly Bree coming for her? Y'all, can y'all please explain to me, is Carly Bree coming for Cat Stacks? Then maybe I could understand a little better why she's technically coming for her. Then she came at Love and Hip New York, but originally started with Cat, with, with you know, Carly B. And now all of a sudden it's like, you know, she came out a little bit, but she was saying something about she not hope she like not cat snack. I think she was saying the interview, but was it prior to cat um Carly B doing the interview that she has a problem? Or I'm confused now. I, I'm I'm just like, huh? What? The, 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 where the hell has cat snacks been all this damn time? And it's all of a sudden she pops out of nowhere and saying like. You know, they are relevant, blah, 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 this and that, woo, 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 and she trying to be like me, blah, 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 and everything else, and it's just like, girl, a lot of tension you have was putting yourself on camera and making yourself into a character, okay, and, um, I'm just saying, and we all seen what the fuck that went to. If y'all, if y'all don't know who the hell she is, please Google her. Probably a lot of her old videos that are still up wandering around. Probably on YouTube or World Style. I haven't been on World Style so goddamn long, I don't know. But what I'm saying is, is that, was it really necessary? And I wonder if Carly B gonna respond to this bullshit. You know, be like, or just brush it off, whatever. Um, about it. Because it's just, was like... Lesson learned, here, hopefully, in the, in the end of the story, and before I get the hell off of here, it's like, girl, what? It, it, maybe since she has popularity and she's getting a little, you know, getting a little, getting a little bit out there now, maybe she could start her on YouTube and, I mean, she was making videos before, but make them again, whereas she can talk about how everything changes. Or is she trying to change? 
or she just trying to get no but good attention or no uh, some attention is better no attention what is she trying to gain here besides you know get her paypal account on so we can buy her books you know through the paypal address i want to know okay well somewhat um I'm, I'm not gonna lie here but i, I i'm just like this like if they never came I, i'm just saying this why is it just carly b or carly b originally started can somebody also explain that to me because maybe I don't know all the details or maybe somewhat don't even actually give a fuck to a certain degree because I'm just like I said, it's like she talking about stuff was off publicity. Uh, no, you know, maybe because she has to shut the hell up or whatever. But I mean, cast decks out there. I mean, it was even a cartoon someone made by a broken, uh, uh, broken Equipment Productions, you know. Austin Osmino, you know, uh, Twins and Fat Kid. They, I mean, she was everywhere she was known. So... Uh, we shall see, y'all. The bullshit uh, continues. It's gonna be somebody else saying that this such and such about <laughs> I'm like, damn, we only on episode two and we got some fuck shit going on. Yes, we do, y'all. And plenty more of it. But anyway, y'all take care. Y'all put y'all comments down below what you think about this bullshit. And, uh, hugs and, and hugs and love. And y'all have pleasant week, pleasant nights weekend. I definitely y'all see you in the next video. Alright, now.